This is Monday's outfit. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. This is quite a weird place to start a video and possibly a weird way to start a video, at least from me. But this week I really wanted to share an outfits of the week video and genuinely, I just have a full length mirror balanced in our corridor. So I do apologize if this video ends up being quite echoey, but our house is quite bare still. So yeah, th there is just a bit more echo in here, I suppose. But I feel as though I've picked a really, rubbish day to start this video but i just wanted to get back into it so i thought you know what i know this isn't the ideal outfit that i would start my outfits of the week video with but it's today's outfit so today is monday and this is monday's outfit so it's quite a casual look if you didn't already tell but basically today has unexpectedly turned into a bit of a gardening day because Yesterday we started Project Grow Green Grass and unfortunately we just ran out of soil and the things we actually needed. We bought 15 bags of soil and somehow that just wasn't enough to level out our garden. So because it was Sunday we were unable to buy any more which meant today's lunchtime task was to buy even more bags of soil and fingers crossed Andre and I will be finishing up with step one of our garden journey today but that's why today's outfit ended up being quite a casual and basic one because any plans that we may have had for today have gone out of the window but anyway on to the outfit the reason you are here so starting off with this little shacket it's actually been quite cold like it's not I mean, it's not like winter cold, obviously, but it's also not June weather, so it still is a little bit chilly. So I've just popped on this shacket over the top. It's just a nice light layering piece. It's from French Connection, and I love this. Actually, I love this, and my boyfriend actually wears it a bit as well, like around the house and stuff. It's been quite a nice, like, casual one, and I've just been throwing it on, particularly when I'm wearing something like this. Like, I feel like I don't have an other alternative, like, super casual, basic, but still quite like put together coat or jacket option. So I feel like this jacket sort of fills the brief in my opinion. Then I'm wearing a vest top from Zara. These vest tops, I have them in three colors. I have white, black, and also like a nude beige color. And I have been so close to decluttering them on more than one occasion. But for some reason, this past year, I have been obsessed with them. I feel like they're the only top I wear these days. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just like quite basic, quite simple, and I've really been liking them. They're also that kind of square, or like kind of curved square neck, which I always love and I think is quite a like flattering cut on me at least. So I, I've been wearing these so much, but that's the one I've decided for today, which in hindsight, probably not a good idea considering I'm gonna be out in the garden. But anyway, leggings, I've gone for these like gray mall leggings. These are from Tala. I don't have anything else from Tala, but I do really like these. However, I managed to get some paint on them during the whole like house renovation process, which I haven't been able to remove annoyingly on like, like right on the bum so that's another reason why I've gone for like the long jacket because it kind of covers that which is good and um yeah these have ended up like the at home sort of you know you know those clothes that you keep that are already dirty or already paint stained and then you just wear them over and over again when you're doing like house stuff and DIYs and things that's what these leggings have become but I do really love them I would 100% buy a pair another pair I do like them and then for footwear, keeping it simple, whenever I wear leggings, I feel like I always wear this sort of combo for footwear. So I've got a pair of white long socks and then my black high top Converse. I feel like it just, I don't know, it just works with the outfit and it finishes off the look quite seamlessly in my opinion. In terms of jewelry, I've actually only got earrings on today. So these are my Monica Vinader hoop earrings. These are basically like, my everyday hoop earrings, I love them. And then, that's it really. So that's the outfit, that's outfit number one. I'll actually take off my jacket as well to show you it without the jacket. So this is it without the jacket. So, oh, look at these, they look so good on camera. These are so, it's like they've sort of got like a, a different like ribbing material here. So it almost gives the illusion of like such a little 
waistline these are really very nice very flattering but yeah like i said they are taller and um that's how we're looking without the jacket i will be back tomorrow with another outfit hopefully a little more interesting than this one was tuesday's outfit of the day so where shall i start okay vest top the same as yesterday actually but this is the black colorway and then i'm wearing some wide leg trousers black as well from asos i really like these asos trousers actually i had originally bought these in tall but they were far too long for me this is the standard length and like maybe they're a little bit short but like they're fine to wear with trainers honestly the tall version i had were just literally dragging across the floor it wasn't a good look then oh i've added a little belt actually these trousers don't have belt loops or anything but i don't know what it is about an outfit particularly an outfit like this one that i think is quite like basic and dare i say it boring but adding something like a belt just adds a point of interest to the outfit maybe and then another point of interest to this outfit is of course my trainers of choice these are my adidas gazelle trainers in red i love these like in an outfit like this just a little pop you know a pop of color a pop of red really really like them i'm hoping to wear them loads throughout summer um i want to try and like style them up with like skirts and things which i don't usually do but i just feel like because they're such a nice like pop bright of color pop bright of color bright pop of color was what i was trying to say i think they will actually style quite nicely for the summer months hopefully on to jewelry next okay i have to first caveat by saying we are literally just going to a pop quiz on a tuesday night and i definitely think i am overdressed for a random pub quiz on a tuesday but i'm so conscious that i'm filming this outfits of the week video that I'm trying a little bit harder, I'd say. So, especially because yesterday's outfit, the start of this video was quite a boring one. I wanted to put on an outfit that felt a bit more like true to me and true to my style. So yeah, possibly a bit too much for a pub quiz on a Tuesday, but we'll go with it. So I'm wearing these large hoop earrings. These are from ASOS. They're so big, but like, I think with hair down, they look quite nice, especially because, I mean, I curled my hair, so it's not looking amazing, but I did curl them, so it has a slight wave, and I just think it looks nice with a big earring like this one. And then I'm just wearing a little choker necklace. This one is from Misoma or Misoma, however it's pronounced, and I just think it looks really pretty. It's a little emerald stone, just really pretty. It's from the, I think it's from the Lucy Williams collection, and I love it. I've also put on rings today. I don't want to do up close too much though. All of my rings are Monica Vinader actually oh, gotta take out the little security but all yeah all my rings are monica vinader but i've not done my nails in such a long time i was giving them a bit of a break from manicures and like gel manicures and stuff so i hadn't had my nails done for since april i think but then as i was giving my nails a break they all broke so they took it quite literally and so I just haven't really bothered to do them again because they're quite short at the moment but I'll probably hopefully get them done soon I want something quite like bright and colorful for spring and um yeah so that's that's base layers of this outfit and then as usual I do have a coat so here it is with the jacket on I've gone for my river island crop bomber jacket this is the black one i also have the whites but i got this one this season did i get it just before spring i think i got it just before spring began but it's just an extra layering piece for the outfit it doesn't necessarily like add much or take away from any of the outfit i feel like with an outfit like this the talking points are of course like the jewelry the gold accessories and then the red trainers as well so i've kept the rest quite simple i did actually swap my earrings i had a change of heart i felt like the large asos hoops were a bit much for a pub quiz on a tuesday so instead i've gone for these still quite chunky hoops but they're just much smaller in size i just think it looks a bit less like in your face but this is today's outfit wednesday's outfit of the day another leggings outfit idea oh, i can't say that my outfits this week are the most inspirational but they are definitely true representation of what i have been wearing i guess like 
I don't know, I've just felt a little lost with my style recently. So I've really been just going for the pieces that I feel good in. And this is the kind of thing that I am enjoying at the moment. So I'm wearing so many of my favorite pieces actually, starting with this navy vest top. I got this from ASOS and it's just, oh, I love it. It's got the white piping, which I love. I think that's why I love this top so much. I just think the white contrast piping is so nice against the navy blue. And then I'm wearing a pair of navy leggings. These are from another version and I just really like them. I think they look really nice on and I think they're really quite flattering on in, in my opinion. So I like that. I like this little combo, even though they're not the same shades of blue. I don't know how well you can tell, maybe if I face the light a little bit more, but my top is definitely a darker navy uh, than my leggings are. These are definitely kind of like a brighter navy, I think, but I don't think it looks too bad. I don't think it's particularly noticeable. And it is just leggings and a top after all. It's nothing too fancy, but I, I do really like wearing these together. I just like an all navy tonal look I always have. And then for my footwear, I haven't strayed too far from the favorites. I'm wearing a pair of long white socks. These are actually from another version as well. And then my trainers are Converse white leather high tops. These are great for days when it might rain. I mean, it hasn't rained today. It's actually been quite a beautiful day today, but Converse, always a good idea. And then in terms of jewellery actually, I've gone very minimal today because I've actually been filming my wardrobe switch over kind of just putting everything into my wardrobe. I've been living out of like suitcases and the bare minimum actually in the wardrobe. So yeah, it was a busy day and I didn't really want to be like faffing with jewellery and necklaces and things. And actually, I quite like this vest top without anything. I don't know why. I think it looks really, just think it looks quite nice to have like it will bear, I don't know. But anyway, so all I have are my earrings. These are, of course, Monica Vinader hoop earrings. You know how much I love Monica Vinader. I feel like I'm always wearing their jewelry, and so today is no exception. That's literally it in terms of jewelry, other than my usual stack, of course, my watch and bracelet, but that's today's outfit. And for when I popped outside, I did add a jacket to this because it may be gloriously sunny, but it's definitely not gloriously hot. And just to show you, this is how it looks with my jacket on. I always wear these sort of jackets like open like this, a bit more like relaxed and laid back, even with like the sleeves up. I just love how it looks. This is a slightly more off-white. You can tell from the piping. The contrast piping is definitely a true white, whereas this is more of like an off-white style, but I still really like it. I also like the fact that this is cropped, so I feel like it just falls really nicely. Like... It's just quite a flattering coat. I, I wear this a lot. I really love these. But yeah, that's that's today's little outfit. I guess when it's such a basic outfit like leggings and a vest top, I quite like adding points of interest with like a nice jacket, for example, like I've done here. So yeah, that is Wednesday's outfit. I will check back in tomorrow. Thursday's outfit. I've felt quite inspired since filming yesterday's wardrobe switchover in that I tried to experiment a little bit with items in my wardrobe. So today I've decided to wear this little white well, it's kind of like an off-white, more of a cream and red striped cardigan. It's also got this gorgeous gold button detailing as well, which is just so pretty. So I decided to wear this and then I went for my maxi slip style skirt because this is the kind of skirt that I think is very popular this spring and summer. So naturally, I thought I would pair it with this and I quite like the light tones as well. I feel like it's just a really nice color palette to dig into. And then for footwear, I went for my trainers. I feel like I was constantly saying, I really want to wear my trainers with dresses and skirts and things. So why not try it out this week that I'm sharing it with you so that you can let me know your thoughts and feedback on this outfit. I'll be honest, I quite like it. And I was a bit unsure about it. I didn't know if it was like too out there for me, but I quite like it. I think because my cardigan also has these red stripes, it ties it in together really nicely. And because I'm essentially just wearing like neutral colors with a pop of red, I think it, it looks quite nice. But let me know what you think. And then actually for jewelry, again, I'm keeping it really simple. Gosh, this week I've really been keeping it very minimal on the jewelry front. But I am just wearing 
Again, I think I've worn these all week. My Monica Vinita hoop earrings, the genuine OGs in my collection. They just look so good with everything. But this is the outfit, what do you think? It's a little bit experimental from me, especially this week when I've just been wearing leggings, it feels like. So let me know what you think of this slightly more dressed up look. Friday's outfit of the day. So we've come to the end of the week and this is what I'm wearing. So starting off with my vest top. As you can see, I'm loving a vest top. This one is from Hollister actually. It's a new in and I really like it. Classic square neck. All the things that I love in a vest top. But it's this kind of grey mild colour which I hadn't had before so I think it's quite a nice additional colour and actually if I pop it out like you'll see it's actually not that long it's really it's not cropped I wouldn't say but it's also not like a full length it's like you know so it works quite nicely I think and then I'm wearing these trousers which are just so fun and funky when I first got them I wasn't really sure I was like oh am I stepping a bit too outside of my comfort zone am I ever gonna wear them but I have actually been reaching for them quite a lot they are from pull and bear i'm pretty sure and they're just like a navy a navy stripe and i think they're so cool one thing i really really like about these i don't know it's quite hard for me to show you maybe if i do this way when there's a bit more light i can often struggle with finding jeans that fit my hips but then are cinched in at the waist so that little contraption at the back really solves that problem and i think it's quite genius so yeah that's the trouser and vest top combo and then honestly I was so close to wearing my red adidas gazelle trainers again but I feel like I've been wearing them too much this week so instead I've gone for a classic Vasia trainer these are the Vasia v10s so they're slightly bigger but they're not a chunky trainer or anything but i enjoy wearing these a lot i've had them for a good few years now and i'm constantly wearing them and onto jewelry i am wearing monica vinader hoop earrings i have worn this almost almost every day this week i think i i love them they're always at my bedside table so I feel like they're just what I gravitate towards every morning I feel a bit lost without them and then I decided to go for a little chunky necklace this is also Monica Vinida I believe this is like their outer chain necklace I will leave all my jewelry and everything linked in the description box down below but I just like that it's a bit chunkier it kind of fills out this space a little bit particularly with something that I think is kind of not necessarily the most feminine outfit I'd say so then adding some more chunky accessories and chunky jewelry I think works really nicely with an outfit like this one and then because it's not the warmest day today I do also have a little jacket to show you you may have already guessed it but it's just my off-white bomber jacket again once again it's that cropped length which I think just looks so nice it's, it's really perfect for spring in my opinion and then it just still lets the trousers kind of do all the talking. It matches nicely with the white stripe, matches nicely with my trainers as well. Like it's quite a sort of casual outfit, but I always think the addition of this coat, despite being quite a like, almost like a varsity style jacket actually, but despite having a more like sporty feel to it, I still think it really elevates and makes an outfit look so much more chic. I don't know if that's just me, but I love adding this jacket to like all my outfits. I would genuinely wear it every day. But that is another look at the outfit with the jacket on. And I do think that this may be my last check-in for the week actually. I was only planning to do Monday to Friday outfits because at the weekend typically I don't do much. So not really getting dressed in anything too exciting. Although I am fully aware that this week of outfits consisted of quite a few pairs of leggings but it was just a, a reality I suppose I, I wanted to keep it as true as possible but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know if you would like to see more outfits of the week's video and also comment which was your favorite outfit of this week I will see you all very soon with a brand new video a big thank you for watching bye